Kathy Vick, deeply awake. Okay. Well, I did a really great um, video a little bit ago with me and then uh, with them. But I blah blah for a long time. Pfft, here's Rosie. God, that cat. And um, it was too long. So I'll cut it short. I will say that they were talking about this a couple days ago. <laughs> and uh, my re response was, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Mm -hmm. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'll believe it when I see it. Almost like a F, F off kind of thing. Just whatever. Uh-huh. Sure. Catch me on the 30th and we'll, we'll talk about it. So, um, that's me. <laughs> what they have to say is their business, obviously. <clears throat> but, uh, boy, oh boy. It's pretty insistent. So, <clears throat> I will be, um, I don't know, compliant. Hmm. Compliant, yes. Hmm. Okay. You see, we have already given her the visuals. And we have gone quite far. And uh, the uh, chills, uh, well, she don't like the chills. She knows that's us. She knows we're poking at her. Hmm. Poking, poking. Hey! Take a look around right now. What's going on? Oh, uh, punctuation point. It's an exclamation point. Yes. Heat, that's another thing. Oh, oh we have flooded her lately. But the chills, that's us. So, yes, we we uh, uh, gave her some of the visuals and uh, and sort of an announcement, you know, a couple of days ago. Oh, baby, you have no idea what's coming. It ain't like nothing you ever seen, ever. And uh, we did not give her a hit. But she could sense that there were intentions behind our words, that we were not false. So, we'll see, yes. What we have shown her visually prior to this transmission is a spiral of golden energy that is, uh, imagine, millions of um, golden meteors traveling like whales along magnetic lines. Mm. And these lines create a beautiful spiral. Yes. Well, this is a beautiful energy. It's also a beautiful metaphor for one's spine, for one's energy. It's beautiful in many respects. Imagine the energy going in both directions, yes? Imagine the energy having consciousness and being able to travel within and without as it moves as one, as one. So, the eclipse, we ask you to be aware of what you are thinking, feeling, aware of, knowing, knowing, knowing. Upon awakening tomorrow morning, this is a good practice to be in with eclipses, you know. So, there are many celestial triggers occurring now and in this month. We ask you to consider something during these times of uh, subtle energy work suited for those who are empathic or whose brains go, yes, 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 or whose souls go, oh, yes, I understand, or who 
who are simply curious. We ask you all to consider something. Consider the following about your body. Consider that it is a, a metaphor made of tissue and bone. It is your expression. You are chosen. Chosen. Expression. Your most beloved creation. Just for a moment. Okay? This beautiful, beautiful creation. Well, this implies a creator, does it not? And we would say it is a co creation with DNA, which we would suggest and have been suggesting is the human Merkaba. Yes, and so. Is the DNA av uh, 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 available at conception? Well, yes. Is consciousness? Well, of a sort, sure. Sure. Is God present? Well, of course. How could, it, how could God not be? Well, then, it's a sin to get rid of it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, 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 dear one, take a seat and understand. Ha! Huh. To be in a woman's womb on planet Earth at this time, for any amount of time, is a high honor. And there are souls. who yearn to incarnate here. So, the thing is, there are agreements. And at times, it is inappropriate for a pregnancy to go forward. It's not appropriate. For the fetus, for the mother, whatever, it's not appropriate. be harmful for one or the other or both, either emotionally, psychically, solically, physically, this is no one's business, because a termination is a secret act as well. There is no cat bumping this table at this time, dear one. Please understand, the soul who chooses to come and befriend, come and uh, incarnate in a way and ride with a woman, carries a message. Perhaps the message is, you know I will be seeing you again when both of us are ready. This is a sacred act as well. And it is uh, quite disrespectful to second guess a woman about her reproductive choices. Which is quite presumptive. And we would say quite denotes a sense of uh, hmm. Hmm, what's that word? Entitlement is, uh, we believe, the correct word. So, that's an interesting take, is it not? As such, it's no accident if you're here 
is no accident if your eyeballs are looking at these eyeballs. Thank you for doing so. It's very beautiful and we appreciate your love and your ears and your heart. Consider this body that now allows you to access so much on the internet and we connect and we say to you in all love and respect this body of yours allowing us to connect and to share it is your gift you know and when it gets sick it is never hurting you it is always always helping you helping you never an enemy always always your protector not just your friend and it will do anything you ask it to it is a co-created event in time and space so as such if you understand that you you the one who goes to work and goes to the grocery store and fills the car up with the gasoline and stuff you you have a body this body has DNA it's a scientific fact and DNA well it's a little weird it's magnetic and it reacts to magnetics and it reacts to much more than that and hmm, for those who are ready the energy that comes will be of great assistance that is all it's a boost what you say to the body is oh fine friend I do believe you know a little more about all of this galactic stuff than me. Because uh, you're made of that, that, you know, in a way. And so you've got, uh, you know, you've got the Mayans and you got, I got a lot of stuff in me. And I'll bet you that, that you, body, and you, DNA, you know stuff I don't. So here's the deal. Please. In gentleness to all parts of self. In gentleness to all parts of self. For the highest good for me and all involved. Always, 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 every single moment. Okay? This is who and what I am. Right? So, use that eclipse to really help me get that. And, uh, Okay, do that and uh, help me to be more compassionate and nice. Okay, help me with that insecurity stuff. But mainly, because there's not much left, just get rid of it. But mainly, those are just my wishes, you know. And you know the other stuff, you know it all. I'm not going to say the other stuff, just the stuff that might impact others too so you my beautiful body my fine friend you who somehow magically is made of the DNA and I know and it's me it's me not you unless you think it's true just me I know that my DNA is my Merkaba understand this as a fundamental truth so how about if you body use these energies that are coming no matter what they are for my highest good and the highest good of all involved in gentleness to all parts of self and other in all timelines how about that let's do that and make it juicy and make it drip with synchronicity and humor but I don't want another joke that's on me thank you I had a lot of humor with this last thing 
It was beautiful and I loved it very, very much. But I don't want another talk that's on me. Okay? I'm done. So, be nicer with your sense of humor, I say. And make me laugh. But use the energy any way you want. You know best. But then be make it obvious what I'm supposed to do. In the meantime, I will try to be happy with what I have. And not be uh, judgmental of it. But be uh, grateful. Uh, I'll, uh, you know, try more. <laughs> and uh, just go easy on me. Uh, and uh, keep me well. And thank you. And uh, all right. The captain has left the bridge. <laughs> How's that? Because if you are saying these things, well, we would suggest that there's someone who's actually, uh, well, I don't know. Who thought it up? Which is you, a bigger part of you, yes? Okay, so this is what we are suggesting. Asking the body, please do what's best for me and make it gentle. And you know, I wouldn't mind a few nice things. It would be kind of nice. I would like more ease and uh, just general uh, breathing room. That would be very nice. But I'm not bitching anymore. Have you noticed? So just make it juicy. Thank you. So th this is the prayer. And it's very unconventional, is it not? Well, we would suggest that there's a lot going on in this. The body, not seen as victim, not seen as... Uh, accident prone or clumsy or ugly or disfigured or um, disabled or any other things that we say about bodies. All bodies are beautiful, perfect as they are, just as they are. And it's what you don't like about your body that, uh, well, it creates conflict, it creates uh, can create illness. Can it uh, create symptoms? It can make you gain weight, lose weight. Many things. It's very interesting how it works. For more on this, you may want to look up Enrique Boron's work in biological decoding. It is fascinating. Yes. This one has made a few. Uh, Oh, what would you say? Decisions. Decrees. They have come in a flash. But she knows the way now. She knows where she wants to go. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful? Yes. And so, we believe the energies that are available you may access simply by keeping track of or enjoying or celebrating or whatever the little triggers that come along as they come along the beautiful eclipse and uh, there's another that is the uh, autumnal Equinox, and there is a, a packet. There is a uh, still point. There is a, a center to that spiral. There is a solidity of light. The visuals are quite strong. Huh. Yes. And the energy has been 
changing. Have you noticed? Yes. Refinements is what we uh, would suggest. You might be noticing refinements in uh, thinking, in behavior, in reaction, in thought process, in memory retrieval, in many things. And we would say that uh, periods of uh, difficulty with memory loss do not fear. It is not dementia. That is uh, simply uh, jet lag, travel fatigue, uh, snapping, being many places at once. And you will need to get used to that. And you will. It is a neurologic thing. We would talk to you now about that sphere we discussed and what the brain is doing, how the brain is rewiring, and uh, how the sulci and the cleave between hemispheres, well, it's filling in with this beautiful light, you know. It's part of the package. And when there are more neuronal connections, well, many things can happen. Senses uh, become tightened and uh, the, the, there is a word for being able to smell numbers or sense the color of whatever. This is how it works, how, uh, you know, someone can taste what tree bark feels like, things like that. And uh, this is important to not pathologize it. Don't make it a disease. It is an enhancement. So, this is everyone going through this? No. Does everyone have to? Well, yeah, no. Not right now. No. There's a few who do these things because uh, they've done it before. And it's very familiar. And it feels very good. And the further we go, the better they feel. Have you noticed this? Well, there you go. We uh, are very pleased to be with you and to talk about these energetic things today. It's very important. So, this skepticism of, well, 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 you hit me up on the 30th and we will see then, hmm, well, okay. We would say, uh, this is uh, immature. really, but understandable. That is someone who does not want to have her heart broken, doesn't want to be disappointed, and uh, has been through this a few times, but uh, also it is a lack of ignorance of the consciousness that does not uh, become flexible this idea and fear that we could be wrong well okay did everyone feel the solstice no will everyone feel this no we see just very few felt the solstice uh, it's, uh, it's uh, so you know there is um, there are some times when in an event is precise and that's very nice and of course you know the date 
and the time rolling around well that's precise on the solstice but uh, the shift well, ongoing 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 but there was an apex uh, there was an opening and there was a closing and there was great celebration and uh, we would like to close with this idea that uh, there will always be celestial triggers dears okay so part of this is uh, to not get too worked up but to accept if you wish that uh, these events do uh, carry information which um, perhaps we have just failed to appreciate its doing because you know, part of the solar system and the movements of these planets well anyone who wishes to delve into astrology will be would be uh, quickly schooled in how uh, technical demanding and precise and art it is and it can be of assistance because uh, when many people have common agreements of such um, beauty and complexity and profundity it seems a bit daft not to give it an, at least a look it seems a bit limited and uh, when looking at that and then applying information that is available in the scientific community what we suggest is that there can be a marriage of meaning and explanation and between the two well these can be aha moments the sun impacts the magnetosphere of the earth the sun is impacted by the movement of our surrounding planets the geometries shift and change certainly these shift and change the magnetics of the heliosphere of the sun so yes everything is entangled everything is in a web and uh, everything is felt everything is truly connected and these connections are then given to the earth through the magnetics of the planet and the human being being composed of DNA which has a magnetic signature well do you understand what is possible when you say do with these energies the most you can do to assist me in health in vitality in peace of mind in uh, light and lightness of countenance in uh, dispersal of uh,
worry. There's not much left. It's uh, become uh, interesting in tone and it feels good. It's, uh, in, it's uh, a different music in the air and uh, we are looking forward to speaking with our friend Nancy. This sounds vitally important. Some feel these shifts. Some are aware of them. Some dream of them. And they speak to assist. These energies, well, they are beautiful and they are ready for you. It's completely up to you. No one else can decide. It is not as if any of these energies can harm. It doesn't work that way. They're like crystals. Duh. Do you think that the crystal around your neck or the jewel can harm you in some way? No. No. These are all enhancements. They are on time. They are by request. They are by plan. And uh, they have been anticipated. They have been worked for. There are those who have been training. And uh, what happens when you have trained for a long time and then the real thing happens? By real thing, when? You just wait and see. The energy will feel nicer, okay? Just leave it at that. No expectations. But we leave you with that question. How's that? Ha! We leave you with that question. We go away. We have things to do. We love you very much. And we are very pleased to be with you during these days and times. These are just ideas. Simple thoughts. We hope they help you. Take what you like and leave the rest. An old adage. Namaste.